Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to our third hands-on comparison video between Android N and Windows 10 Mobile Redstone. So in our last two videos, you may have seen us comparing the different aspects of uh, the two OSs. And for more, you can go and refer to Nokia Power User or you can watch our earlier two videos. In this particular video, we will compare the general performance, which will include the UI navigation, multitasking, or how fast it happens, how well it happens on both OSs. We will also compare the browsing part. So let's begin with the general UI navigation and performance. But before going to that, going to that, uh, let's be clear here that it's an XS 5X. It's a high-end kind of device and it runs Android N, the developer preview 3. While this is Lumia 640XL, it's a mid-ranger Windows 10 mobile and it runs the latest Windows 10 mobile Redstone build. But for your information, Windows 10 mobile, mobile uh, is considered to be a lightweight OS and it is well known or I mean it's claimed to run even very well on a mid-ranger specs or mid-ranger kind of device. Google has done the same with Android Marshmallow and according to Google, I mean we have also checked it and we could say that it runs uh, very well now on uh, mid-ranger devices but here for giving you an idea, we just made it clear. So it's an XS 5X, is a high range kind of, while uh, we have a Windows 10 mobile on a mid range. But when we talk about OS smoothness or fluidity, it's to, it should work well on whatever kind of devices it should be. So here, this comparison will give you at least the idea that uh, whether uh, the OS is fluid, whether it works well or not. So let's begin with Android N and okay, or maybe we can do a bit of comparison and understand so if we talk about general scrolling etc you can see that windows 10 mobile is quite fluid we can do the same in case of uh, android n so it's really fast actually if you talk about scrolling etc if we talk about action center you can see the difference in the animation actually here but if we talk about how it all works it works really good really well in case of both the OSs it's quite fast actually there does not seem to be any lag or anything like that if we go to settings from here and from here that also actually works well quite good actually we can send it to the background we can send it to the background so general navigation wise if we talk about then there is nothing to complain about in case of both the OSs, it's all good, be it Windows 10 Mobile or be it Android N. As you just saw that animations are like a bit different in case of uh, Action Center, even the navigation is a bit different. But it's all good. There are no lags. It works well without any issue. Now let's talk about uh, how the native apps open whether they are fast or not and we will also check the multitasking part so we will open few of the apps it's like youtube here let's send it to you can check it it all works good let's send it to the background let's open the maps app and we will do the same on windows 10 mobile So you can see that both opened really really fast quite impressive whether on android n or whether on windows 10 mobile mm, let's open maybe the, the, the twitter a third party app for that reason we opened twitter on windows 10 mobile too so you can see the I mean, difference between uh, how the same, I mean these are official apps, but they look different. Let's send them to background. 
We look on the browser, so it's Edge, the default browser, and it's Chrome, the default browser I invite in. Let's send them to the background. We can open the music apps. Sorry, it's a uh, movies and TV. So let's open the music app basically, which is here. Let's send them to the background. So till now we could see that, uh, I mean, in case of both of them, the things like uh, the apps, they are opening quite good. They are like impressive to say the least. So here is something Cortana, which is a personal assistant with a personality on Windows 10 mobile. Similarly, here we have OK Google. So time to now check how the multitasking looks like, how it works on both the devices. So as we have uh, demoed in our last video, the multitasking is a bit different. In case of Android N, you have a dedicated button for multitasking, while in case of Windows 10 Mobile, you tap and hold the back button and you get the multi get to the multitasking screen. <clears throat> Again, here you see it's a traditional kind of multitasking screens with the UI adjacent to each other on Windows 10 Mobile. It's a somehow novel and impressive implementation of multitasking screen on uh, Android N. So let's just check how fast actually, uh, I mean, the, the uh, resume happens, like the settings resume or resume for the apps from the background. We can open the music apps, which we just sent to the background. Quite impressive, both of them. We can check the Maps app. Maps apps are usually a bit heavier compared to other apps. So let's see whether uh, how, I mean, the response is in terms of opening or resuming them from the background. Both the devices are like both are working fine. And, and you can see the resume is really good, impressive on Windows 10 Mobile as it is also impressive on Android N. Let's uh, resume the Twitter, the third party app so that we have some idea or understand how the third party apps resume on both. So you can just see bit minor kind of uh, difference in resume and maybe like it looks like that Windows 10 mobile uh, in case of it the apps may resume bit I mean it's a difference of microseconds but it resumes bit faster even the third party app like Twitter it resumed faster on the Windows 10 mobile as compared to Android N. that's not a very big difference but uh, it certainly looks like that I mean we are seeing a bit of difference as per the trend till now. Just to confirm, we can open again the Maps app on both. Both are in background and just... Okay, so it seems like on Android N, uh, the app gets suspended, but it maybe it keep, uh, keeps working in background, but also in terms of like Windows 10 Mobile, also it works in background. Some of the, uh, you know, functions, they keep working, but there is a bit of difference in terms of multitasking and how fast it resumes. Windows 10 Mobile certainly has slight edge in uh, making the apps resume faster. So here you have a comparison between uh, Android N on a Nexus 5X and Windows 10 Mobile on Lumia 640XL. Okay, let's check the browsing part quickly now. So the Chrome and here we have Edge. So
it's a crude comparison basically as we have told you it's a high end device a low end device i mean mid range device but still we can just get an idea so let's do it oh so uh, generally neck to neck So it looks like quite uh, impressive and interesting kind of you know comparison between two. We can see the scrolling etc. and it works really good. Quite impressive on both the devices. We can think about going to one page and let's see. Let's check the zooming part. So as you can see, if we compare the general performance of the two browsers, they are quite evenly matched here, at least in terms of opening the web pages. Even when we go to the things like uh, scrolling or panning and zooming, etc., they work quite impressively. There is not much to uh, you know differentiate in terms of performance. Both, like, if you ask us, both uh, have worked really good. And not only. Uh, while we are doing a hands-on demo, we have ourselves realized that, I mean, if you talk about the browsers, they are quite good actually. They are quite evenly matched in terms of when we talk about performance. So even the panning, zooming, etc. is quite, quite, quite comparable. I mean, and it, it, it can uh, actually be like, you know, because uh, when we talk about the different uh, benchmarking, the two browsers are really good they they have very good scores so you can go and check but if come we come to this particular comparison here also even on i mean after being on a mid ranger the microsoft edge has performed quite well if you compare to chrome which is on a nexus 5x a relatively higher in device now if we talk about the ui of the browsers they are quite different here you can see how the uh, UI navigation differs so you have the tabs here the tabs you have to come to here and for in case of Windows 10 mobile tabs are like on the bottom so here you can create a new tab for creating a new tab you have to do it here so it again kind of it, it might sound a bit easier to do things because your thumb can reach easily in case of Windows 10 mobile the browser in case of uh, the Chrome, you have to, I mean, you have to try to reach to here. So when we talk about one handed use, to me, somehow the Windows 10 mobiles uh, implementation of the tabs, etc. That looks easier as compared to the Chrome. So you have to reach all the way here for creating a new tab in case of a Chrome, but in case of uh, Edge, it's quite easier. Also, uh, you can see that
द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ क्रोम लुक्स गुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेन यू वॉन्ट टू क्लोज एनी ऑफ द टैब सो इफ यू हैव टू क्लोज एनी ऑफ द टैब्स ऑन एज यू हैव टू जस्ट गो टू द क्लोज विथ एन एंड डू इट बट इन केस ऑफ क्रोम यू हैव टू जस्ट स्वाइप can go to tab and just swipe to the right the same implementation that we see on the multitasking as well so that is something which is good uh, quite impressive on chrome uh, i mean microsoft should have implemented some kind of like maybe uh, just swiping down should have closed this tab it could have looked right much better but there is one thing which i really like on microsoft edge is a swiping uh, to right takes you back to the page which is before which which was before it so you can swipe right and left to navigate actually between the uh web pages or you can uh, i mean just do it for browsing or navigate between the pages just swiping right and left so we don't see that implementation on chrome so both the browsers have their own advantages or good points or that some cool features which miss uh, which is missing on other browser but they they perform quite well for us so there is nothing but here so with this we come to end of this video you can see how the i mean performance wise how the both os work and uh, i mean we will uh, leave it to you again to draw conclusions but it's a bit from us so multitasking wise we saw that windows 10 mobile had bit of edge in terms of browser again we saw that while the chrome in some cases it was loading the pages faster in in some features or like in in some other cases uh, we liked edge slightly more so it's a kind of good comparison and uh, i mean both the os have their own minuses and pluses their uh, own strong points and weak points so keep watching uh, as we bring the last and the final video in the series stay tuned